Well, the family of a USU student killed on Monday in a freak accident is opening up about the life and personality of Eric Anderson. The 24-year-old rode his bicycle into a slack line on campus, resulting in his death. Christine McCarthy covering the story for us today. Christine, the family really wants the community to know a little bit more about who Eric really was. That's right, Mark. The family says that Eric belonged to everybody. He had a lot of friends and a whole lot of personality in that bike that he was riding. It was purple. It was his sister's. But he liked to ride it because he liked the attention it attracted. He loved life. He, had lo he loved his friends. His friends loved him. In the midst of deep loss, the family of Eric Scott Anderson is comforted by the memory of the light-hearted, silly 24-year-old. We've laughed and we've cried and we've laughed and we've cried. The USU senior loved video games, playing the trumpet in his marching band and his family's singing dog. He loved that dog. I mean, even when he was on his mission, we would have Toby sing to him over the phone when he'd call him. Eric was riding his bike on campus on the first day of classes when he hit a slack line, a sort of tightrope student said tied between two trees. He was severely injured and died at the hospital. When he told me there was no pulse, and I just, oh, no, I can't die. <laughs> Eric's large, tight-knit, and heartbroken family took the trip up to Logan. He looks so good. He looks so very, very good and peaceful there. And he, he loved handsome. Uh, he loved to have people run his fingers through his hair, so we all had a chance to do that. The pain is still raw as the Andersons plan Eric's funeral, but they're at peace with Eric's death and harbor no resentment toward the slacklining students. Yes, it was. Uh, not thinking we should have done something to put cones or tape or whatever but we it was an accident that's all it was it was just an accident they'll keep eric in their memories with pictures and videos and the band gear he loved we're proud of him we love him and we miss him and the Andersons also found out that Eric was an organ donor. Several of his organs were saved. Another reason for that family to be proud of him. Now, the family has set up an account in his name at America First Credit Union to help with funeral and burial expenses. You can get more information on our website, KUTV.com, if you'd like to donate. Back to you in the studio. All right, Christine, thanks.